third place behind Ethiopia and Kenya. And as soon as we get an update through 20K, we'll bring you that. But Kip Limo looking very comfortable. By contrast, Candy, I think, is suffering a bit from that surge he put in a moment ago. But these two seem to be well clear of third and fourth at this stage. Well, the 20K split is not far away now. They went through 15K in 42.17. And this uh, 5k split, I'm sure, will have been by far the quickest of the race. We've seen 14.19, 14.04, and then 13.54. So wait for this 20k split. I'm sure it'll be special. And that was has, is what has taken the sting out of the legs, the life out of the legs of Joshua Cheptegei. And here it comes, the 20k split. And it's going to be inside 56 minutes, 55-55, and look at the time, 13.38. Well, there's the gap to third place. Walla Lane goes through, and he, uh, the leader went through in 55-55, Kip Limo. Walla Lane goes through. A three-second gap between Kip Limo and Candy. And then an 11-second gap back to Walla Lane in the uh, bronze medal position. And Cheptegei a further five seconds back. Kip Limo's PB before now, Tim, was 61.53. Uh, that was last year. Uh, sorry, I was thinking he, he this was his debut. Anyway, he's going to be doing a phenomenal... He's going to do a, U a Ugandan record. Uh, the current record is 59.50. Well, he is going to run quick. It's definitely going to be under 60 minutes, but how far under 60 minutes? Look how beautifully he moves. That stride, the bounce, the fluidity. That is poetry in motion from Jacob Kipolimo. Glorious isolation is what he's earned for himself there in that shot along the seafront. He's in the run into the finish now. Bulvar Nadmorski right alongside the Baltic Sea. He has just a few hundred metres to run. Candier there in the red of Kenya. Powerless at the moment to close the gap on the young Ugandan. And as you pointed out, Mara, second in the world cross-country championships last year in Denmark. Maybe gold today in a global championship on a different surface. He is the real deal. Is this the next Joshua Chetta guy? I don't want to say the king is dead, long live the king. But this young man, at 19, looks as though he's heading for a world title. And I believe he will make, it will make him the youngest winner of this title in the uh, 24 editions. This, remember, the 24th edition of the World Half Marathon Championships. A nervous little glance over his shoulder there. And another one. But I don't think he needs to worry. Candier in second place is surely heading for the silver. But Jacob Kiblimo, world junior cross-country champion back in 2017, hasn't tasted global gold since then, but his 5,000 metre speed and strength, 12.48, remember, earlier on this summer in Ostrava. He was fourth in the Commonwealth Games back in 2018 at 10,000 metres, behind one Joshua Cheptegei. Well, today he's turned the tables on his compatriot. He's turned the tables on the world because this young man is going to be world champion. Fabulous running at a canter with great finishing speed. Jacob Kiglimo becomes world half marathon champion unofficially in 58-48 there. Candier takes a super silver for Kenya. He did so much of the hard work in the latter stages to break up the pack after a faltering, slow, nervous first half by that big group. And a brilliant bronze for Valalain of Ethiopia. Tim, I think Kip Limo has just set a new championship record, previously 58-59 from Tedese of Eritrea, and I think the world under-20 half marathon world best previously was 59-16. So a new world under-20 half marathon best from 19-year-old Kip Limo. And what might have been Joshua Cheptegei giving his great friend and compatriot a massive hug there. Cheptegei in fourth place, just misses the Wolfs Rostrum. Good points for uh, Uganda, though, so to speak. 
how will the team race unfold? Belly, who did his fair share at the front, didn't he? Fifth place. Look at all the athletes coming in under 60 minutes. It is a quick circuit. Conditions really good today. And maybe, just maybe, the early pace being slowish is what has led to optimal time for many of these men outside the medal positions. Amdouni for France, 59.40. That is an incredible run. Kimeli of Kenya, 59.42. And rather appropriately, the first 10 and no more go under 60 minutes. Kiros, 